Greetings, all shard vixen, and I'm playing Mass Effect 2. And we are just getting through this spotted. first part of it. And we're shooting robots. Robots, we're shooting robots. I have to say, after you do one, it's really kind of. We don't really like the mechanics of as much. Now, because you, now you have to pick up bullets, I think. I don't remember that I did that. But it's, it seems so long ago and it wasn't, so I don't know. Maybe I just got to a point where I had a lot of bullets. That's probably likelihood. Okay, so I am trying to make my way out of this facility. Dragging these guys behind me. Or maybe they're dragging me. And I gotta watch out for the things shooting at me, including other people and other robots and all kinds of stuff. See if they'd be nicer to me. I am the hero shepherd. Reload. Who can't shoot to save their life. Whack, whack, whack. There you go. Good job. Need a sniper. Sniper rifle. Need a sniper rifle. Rifle, sniper, sniper rifle. Come on. Through here, we're almost there. Yeah, what, Miranda? But you were. Oh, wow, that's just not friendly. Dead. What the hell are you doing? Not friendly at all. I don't know that I trust her. My job. Wilson How betrayed we us that? all. Because we can't question him now. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. Yeah, well, it's what too late now. Wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should yep, have taken him alive. Right. See, See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. See, I just said the same thing. If you say so. What's our next step? Because I am robot get on shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask oh, before tons. we go, Commander? I got tons of stuff I want to ask you. Location during the attack? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon. Well, we can't ask, ask Wilson. Wilson. We've already set, established that. What about the rest yeah, of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, oh, they're not so. coming. Some of them might have survived. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone um, else is expendable. Got She's right. Thing going on. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Um, destination? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting and for you there. if I don't come along? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Um. You're the last yeah. of the project's director, what about right? about that, uh-huh. That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into uh, you. Uh, why? What does Cerberus want? Besides me being a gorgeous Maybe looking man. Maybe you should man. ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he, Obviously kind of plan he does. There ain't nothing else. Gotta go. Let's go. I've had enough of this station to last Apparently. a lifetime. Or two, Whatever. in your case. I'm not really me Come anymore, on. am I? That's kind of a question. If you rebuilt me, am I somebody else now? Something else? Will I ever be the same? I need to know. Will I be the same? Well, I've always... I'm looking a little worse for wear Before here. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate Whatever. your condition. What, we have to do this now? 
We should have done weeks of testing to confirm the success of Project Who has Lessons. a name, by the way. A few questions during the shuttle ride will have to suffice. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? Um, yes. I had to win. No way was I gonna let those slaver bastards send me running. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Okay. Satisfied, awesome. Miranda. Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Sarah. Do, 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 do. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests that we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there. And I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills. What other memories personally. do you need? I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence. I oh, know you look a little pasty, witch. Pasty witch. I apologize if there's a backlash in sound. Uh, every headphone set I have, the dog has eaten, except for the ones upstairs in the, the elusive PlayStation man room. is waiting for you in the other room. Oh look, I've become a paragon. I'm a paragon of my clan. I wouldn't keep the elusive oh, man waiting. I keep anybody waiting, I want. The elusive man is waiting for you in the okay, other room. Okay, cool. What room? Not that one. Not that one. Oh. Hey, I can customize my gear before I go in. I love customization. Alright, what do we want? We don't want that. That's kind of draggy. It doesn't look very good. Okay. First, I find my favorite clothes. Where are they? Um, that's, okay, so I can do, I can customize my armor, I'm gonna customize my armor, a breather helmet, yeah, we like that one, music for this, because the music they have is kind of sucky, okay, here's where we go into the good stuff, we need a different color, different color, Sorry, that was my phone. It's a little loud. Actually, I think that was my tablet. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's my color. That's my color. But not the red. I don't think. Maybe. Pattern. Do we want a pattern? Yeah, I like the speckle pattern. That's good. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fascista. That's me. Fascista. I don't like that outfit. Nope, not that one either. It's a little formal. That one's a little matrixy. Ah, there we go. The Outlander look. Yes, 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 yes. We'll go with that. Nowadays, that would be the, uh, what? Now people would call it the, uh, Mad Max outfit. Though it's a little more clothes than Mad Max had. And now I am styling in my great armor. Yay! Don't worry, I changed that quite a bit. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm dancing. Uh, need to go talk to the funny man. The funny man that smokes a lot. My royal man. How does he uh, live and smoke so much, huh? We're going into cyberspace. We're going into cyberspace. And here we are. Cyberspace. Commander Shepard. <laughs> Elusive yeah. man. I thought we'd be meeting well, face to face. Nice. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Uh, and what do we know? You don't know me. What do we know? You don't know me. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. If you keep smoking like that, you will be. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief Man. existence. 
the Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. Get the buzzer to you. How are you feeling? My friend. Okay. You need to earn the right to ask me That's those right. kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different this. methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? Ah, that people. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Chose me. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Yes, why? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote uh -huh. locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed them. But well, that could we do. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize yeah. the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. But now a I'm soldier. a dead and come back and I don't again. know if the Reapers understand Simple. fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Maybe I believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me okay, to trust guys. them? Wilson was one of my best agents. A traitor. a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her. And she saved your life in more ways okay. than one. But Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. Do I have a choice? What are you expecting? What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the Okay. I'm guessing this is it. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. And we are out of here. Or I am out of here. Peace. I don't know why I said we. But maybe it'll make sense later.